Pisces. You need to know this right now for December the 7th through December the 8th, 2023. Universal energies. Show me what I need to see for the star sign of Pisces for December the 7th through December the 8th, 2023. Universal energies. Show me what I need to see for the star sign of Pisces for December the 7th through December the 8th, 2023. Universal energies. Show me what I need to see for the star sign of Pisces for December the 7th through December the 8th, 2023. Show me. You guys, subscribe, like, comment, and share these videos. If this does not resonate with you, check your moon, rising, and Venus sign videos. I do not read reversals. If you're interested in a private reading, you can reach me at herimmortalmajesty at gmail.com. So, Pisces. Pisces, these are your cards, honey. So, Pisces, you have the devil. Could be dealing with a Capricorn. But this devil energy can speak of a toxic energy that is looming over you guys' relationship. And what makes it toxic is this restrictive and binding. Someone may be obsessive, possessive, controlling, abusive. Someone may have an addiction to sex, drugs, drinking, smoking, working too much, money, attention, gambling, sports, video games, eating too much. Anything that a person does too much of. Or someone here is in a full-blown relationship somewhere else, causing this toxic energy to loom over you guys' relationship. So Pisces, listen, could be dealing with a Capricorn. But when we're dealing with this devil energy, this can speak of something being toxic, restrictive, and binding. This can speak of a legal binding contract, but also temptation. Clarify the devil for Pisces. Clarify the devil for Pisces. Clarify the devil for Pisces. It is clarified with strength. Could be dealing with a Leo, but the universe is calling for you to have strength, courage, determination, motivation to keep moving forward and to do the right thing. But this is also a card of you trying to tame your lust, tame your passions, trying to restrain yourself, restrict yourself, and hold yourself back from something. So listen, Pisces could be dealing with a Leo. But you can tell me that you're feeling extremely weak here. You can tell me that you're restraining yourself, restricting yourself, and holding yourself back. Or trying to muster the strength and courage to do something. Clarify strength for Pisces. Clarify strength for Pisces. Clarify strength for Pisces. It is clarified with the Ten of Cups. Scorpio, Cancer, or Pisces. This is emotional fulfillment. This is the apex card. This is the happy family, happy life, happy wife, happy stable, committed relationship, and happy home. This is what we're all striving for. So we're speaking of marriage, commitment, home, family, emotional fulfillment. So listen, Pisces, someone very well may have commitment on the brain. But in tarot, tens are ending, so it could be an ending to you guys' commitment, marriage, living together situation, or family dynamics. Hmm... Pisces, you can tell me that you're tempted to go into commitment with this person. Or you're telling me because something is toxic, you're needing to be strong to come out of a commitment with this person. So we'll see because you could be going into a commitment, a legal binding contract with this person or come up out of it. You have the tower. The tower is Aries and Scorpio's energy. This is something that you don't see coming. Something that catches you completely off guard. Something that just rocks the foundation of you guys' relationship. This is a shock in our moment. A moment of revelation. Now this can be a shocking shakeup or a breakup. So Pisces, very well could be a shocking surprise. Shocking revelation. Something being revealed or a breakup. Clarify the tower. For Pisces, clarify the tower. For Pisces, clarify the tower. For Pisces, 
It is clarified with the hermit. Could be dealing with a Virgo. But right now, you're taking some time out to be alone to do some soul searching, introspection, searching your inner man for wisdom and guidance, going within, looking for answers. So Pisces could be dealing with a Virgo, but you can tell me that, hey, I just need some me time. You can tell me that you're doing some heavy duty soul searching or you went on a solo search looking for something. Clarify the hermit for Pisces. Clarify the hermit for Pisces. Clarify the hermit. For Pisces, it is clarified with the Nine of Swords, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. This is you being anxious, worried, stressed, replaying things over and over in your mind, losing sleep at night, worried about something. So Pisces, you're all up in your head, stressed, worried, anxious, can't eat, can't sleep, bothered by something here. So Pisces, listen, you're all up in your head doing some heavy duty soul searching concerning maybe a shocking surprise. Maybe this is about going into a commitment here. Or you're telling me that you're stressed and doing some heavy duty soul searching concerning some type of shocking revelation, some type of shocking shakeup or a breakup of you guys' commitment because something is toxic. Pisces, you have the seven of pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. This is you waiting. And in this wait, you're pausing to reflect on you guys' relationship. You're looking at the seeds that were planted, looking at what has taken root, what has grown, and what it has produced thus far, trying to figure out whether or not you want to continue to invest, whether you want to reinvest. You're taking stock of you guys' relationship, assessing you guys' relationship. But this is also a card of you looking at your coins, your harvest, your bank account, looking at how much you have and how much you have to invest. Could be waiting on money. So Pisces, listen, you can tell me that you're waiting on money, looking at your coins, looking at your bank account. You can tell me that you're waiting. You can tell me that you're waiting, contemplating and debating on whether or not you care to continue to invest or reinvest in this relationship. Clarify the seven of pentacles for Pisces. Clarify the seven of pentacles. For Pisces, clarify the seven of pentacles for Pisces. It is clarified with the three of pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. This is making plans to meet up, making plans to partner up, to work together on a contract or a project. This is teamwork. This is collaboration. Now, this can speak to there being a third party involved, but this can also speak to you being willing to work on it or put in the work. So, Pisces, listen, this could all be work or business. You can tell me that you're willing to work on it, willing to put in the work. You can tell me that this is some type of an agreement or a contract collaboration or there's a third party. Now, Pisces, you can tell me that the shocking shakeup in you guys' commitment was some type of an agreement dealing with coins here. You can tell me that, you know, you're waiting to see whether or not you want to go into some type of an agreement, maybe a marital agreement. You can tell me that, you know, you're asking yourself whether or not you care to continue to invest or reinvest in this relationship and work things out with this person. Pisces, you have the Ten of Cups again. Like I said, someone may have commitment on the brain, but in tarot tens are ending, so it could be an ending to you guys' commitment, marriage, living together situation, or family dynamics. Clarify the Ten of Cups for Pisces. Clarify the Ten of Cups for Pisces. Clarify the Ten of Cups for Pisces. It is clarified with you, Pisces, the hangman. The hangman signifies that the relationship is stagnant right now. It's suspended in the air. There's no movement. But you may be beginning to change your perspective. But Pisces, this is you. Clarify the hangman for Pisces. Clarify the hangman for Pisces. What about Pisces? What about Pisces? Clarify the hangman for Pisces. It is clarified with the Ten of Pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. This is financial success and abundance. This is where two people come together in a long-standing committed relationship, joining together their assets and resources to build something to pass down from generation to generation, creating a legacy. So we're speaking of marriage, commitment, home, family, assets, resources, property, inheritance, legacy. Mm. 
Pisces, this can be about your money, assets, resources, abundance. Like I said, very well could be that someone has commitment on the brain. But in tarot, tens are endings. So it could be an ending to this commitment, marriage, living together situation, or family dynamics. Now, you can tell me that, you know, going into commitment is just on hold here. There's a waiting here. You're in your head about it, you know. Maybe you're kind of trying to hold back from it and just waiting. Or it's you guys are stagnant and it's ending. Pisces, you have the Ace of Cups. Scorpio, Cancer, or Pisces. This is a brand new beginning in love. A brand new beginning in a deep emotional connection. This is love overflowing. A brand new blessing. A brand new beginning in love. So Pisces, new love, new start to love, or a blessing here. Clarify the Ace of Cups for Pisces. Clarify the Ace of Cups for Pisces. Clarify the Ace of Cups for Pisces. It is clarified with the Ace of Pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. This is a brand new opportunity of something more solid, stable, and secure coming into you. Now, this can be an offer for an invite out for dinner in a movie. This can be about making things more committed. This can be about a lump sum of money, a job offer, a raise, a promotion, a bonus, a high ticket item purchase, a new home, a new car, a token of love, a gift, anything of value, brand new practical beginnings. So some type of opportunity of practicality, money, assets, resources, property, accepting a gift, giving a gift, going out on a date or commitment here. New, new, new. You know what, Pisces? I feel like this is about commitment. But you're scared. You're in your head. You scared of finger shackles, Pisces? I'm going to take a look at the situation ship for you. I don't know what you want me to tell you. I think you're scared. Hmm. Some of you guys, you need to get with a lawyer. Or you're thinking about getting with a lawyer to handle your business. I don't know. I, I don't ask me. I don't know. Thinking about a prenup. Thinking about maybe putting something in a trust where, I don't know, maybe it's your finances that you're worried about. Combining it with this person and going into some type of an agreement or marital contract with this person. I don't know. Desire, lust, sexual chemistry. Desire, lust, sexual chemistry. What else for Pisces? What else for Pisces? Hmm. Financial support. Child, really? Child, alimony, and government. Financial support. Child, alimony, and government. Hmm. If you're interested in a private reading, you can reach me at herimmortalmajesty at gmail.com. Pisces, you need to know this right now for December the 7th through December the 8th, 2023. You guys, give me feedback. Subscribe, like, comment, and share. And follow me on Twitter at herimmortalmaj, M-A-J. And I'll see you guys next week. Peace.